All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome to tonight's incentive planning for the TPS Global Group. So excited because incentive period is upon us and we are going to earn a spectacular trip. Let's see what that's all about, shall we? doesn't jazz you up, um, we need to get you jazzed up. So tonight, um, let me admit some more people. Hang on. Tonight, we are going to um, plan. We're going to look what it looks like to earn an incentive. We're going to feel what it feels like to earn an incentive. We're going to track it out. We're going to talk about experiences. We're going to do all kinds of things that are hopefully going to ignite us all. And I'm not just here to ignite you guys. I want some igniting too, because I want to go on that boat. So I think that when you put your minds together with other like-minded people, you can pretty much accomplish anything, right? So tonight you're going to hear from some leaders. You're going to hear from um, myself, obviously, and we're going to share some things with you on how to earn it, what that looks like, what that feels like, what you should be thinking about, what you should be focusing on, okay, those types of things. So the first thing that I want to address, and I think it's pretty important that we know that it doesn't matter what title you are, because this trip can be earned by anybody. Andrea, would you share with us a little bit of what that meant to you? Sure. Um, as many of you know, I, I joined and unjoined and joined and unjoined a few times. And when I rejoined for the last time, it was the third time, in August of 2016, I had zero intention of earning any specific thing. I was just running with the idea that I had purple wax flowing through my veins. Like I just, something ignited in me and I just wanted to share what I loved about the home fragrance business. And Edie was messaging me and my sponsor at the time was mes messaging me and I kept on being called out on all these little, um, you know, um, milestone, you know, posts. And I was like, wait, what's going on? I, Cause I wasn't even paying attention to the workstation, nothing. Not that I don't think that you should pay attention, but all of a sudden, my passion got me to the point where I earned the incentive trip. I earned it, and I, I remember sitting down with my husband and saying, oh my God, I'm not even prepared. I didn't get my kids ready. I didn't hire a babysitter. I didn't call out. I didn't have you call out sick for work. Like, I wasn't prepared to go. And the only reason why I earned it was because I allowed my passion to fuel my business. And I wasn't paying attention to, I gotta do this to do this and this to do this. I just went with my gut and I talked about what was fueling my passion. I've said it again for the third time. 
but it's really important for you to um, bleed into your business. If you love something, tell people and good things will come from that. Your business will just naturally grow organically if you really talk about what you love. And that was my first incentive. I've actually earned many cents. Yeah, I mean, I think that that goes with a lot to be said when you guys hear people or leaders say, don't sell Sensi, share it, right? We're sharing the experience of the passion of what we enjoy doing every day. And that's using the product in the first place, right? Um, and if it's not the use of the product, then it's the community that you belong to that you have a passion for. Um, and I say that because our fearless leader, Becca Levi, can't smell a thing. And so she is extremely successful. I don't know if you guys knew that, but she cannot smell. So she doesn't smell sensey, but she's super successful. So the passion that she has comes from the community from the business, from the friendships, from the traveling, from the experiences that she's gone, gotten from earning the incentives maybe, you know? So on the flip side to what Andrea just shared, last year we were earning for the Netherlands and I had written myself off. I constantly am working my business to earn incentives. It's just how I run my business. It's just how, like Andrea said, you, when you're doing what you love and you're doing the sales and you're doing the recruiting and you're doing all the things, just because it is what you love, then the potential of you earning an incentive is going to be there, right? And I want to make the point that even if you don't think you can earn it, you can at any level. You could be an essential consultant and earn this trip. You can be a superstar director and earn this trip. I had written myself off in December for that trip. And a friend of mine who's a consultant came to me and said, but Edie, you still have a whole month. Like, why are you giving up on this? Why have you already written yourself off? I pulled it out. I went for it. And I was in the top 100 for the Netherlands last year or whatever we earned it and we didn't get to go. But guys, every title can earn it. And we're gonna talk about tonight, the different ways that we can get points. And this year it's even better because we can also earn points from people in our team when they earn points. It's almost easier to earn as an essential consultant than a director. Each promotion will earn you points. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't read the whole thing, but I didn't see it. Yeah, mega points. I missed the mega. Um, yeah, so true. Absolutely, right? I don't get promotion points anymore. I'm a superstar director. I don't get earning. I don't, I don't have anything to promote to. I don't get those points anymore. So it is harder but it's still achievable. I mean, if I was able to earn top 100 on, and I'm not bragging, I'm making a point here. For every top 100 trip that they have offered us, I've earned it as a super, no, the first one I earned as a director, but other ones I earned as a superstar director. So guys, do not write this off. Do not think that you are not capable of earning this. Do not think that because you are, what just happened to my screen? I'm sorry. Okay. Um, I don't want you to even allow that thought to enter your brain that you are not able to earn this because you are. I don't care what level you are. Yes, Debbie. Oh, I think that's very important because it's also the goals. If you set a goal for yourself, something you really want, like I really wanted to go to Disney. I really wanted to make the Disney trip, even though I knew in my head I wouldn't be going because of the pandemic. I wanted to know that I made that trip and I did. And of course, since he was amazing and, and paying everyone for the trip that couldn't go. But if you give yourself a goal, you can do it. It, and it's fun. I had fun every month looking at what I was doing and knowing what I had to do, even though I wasn't going. Yeah. Well, so. and the thing is, is Sensi has this innate way of making good on everything. Unbelievable. So, like that. Robbie and I earned the Netherlands. 
they gave us a cash payout for that trip because we couldn't go. I mean, most companies, if you looked at what happened during COVID, most of them just X nade the trip and the per the consultants got nothing. Yeah, of course. You know? so you're always striving for something and Sensi will come good for it. So I know that COVID is kind of putting a, a kink in our wrench a little bit here, but um, trust me, Sensi will, will come good for it, but things are opening up. So we're, we're doing better. Um, okay. So understanding that any level can earn this and understanding what Debbie said, when you set a goal, when you focus on the ball in baseball, every coach that coaches a student or a player, they will say, Keep your eye on the ball. Why? Because if you take your eye off the ball, it's going to smack you in the face. It's going to hurt and you're going to strike out. But if you watch the ball as it's coming down the line to you and you swing and you put your energy into it and your effort into it and you try, chances are you're going to hit the ball as long as you stay focused on it right? This is no different. The ball is the boat. <laughs> Keep your eye on the boat, right? Whether it's the river cruise to the Netherlands in the top 75 or that Alaskan cruise or whatever other region you want to be part of, okay? So the first thing that has to happen is you have to tell yourself that it's possible. You have to tell yourself that you're going to do it and you have to put the goal in your mind and see it, which is why we played the video. Andrea said, put the weather app on your phone with the Alaskan weather and check it every couple of days all through this incentive. Why? Because it's going to keep Alaska on your brain. Watch the video. Robbie shared with us that he watched the video almost every day to the Netherlands. It kept the visual impact for him and his brain to be able to earn that trip. Keeps It's like a dream board. It's a visual thing, right? Our body and our mind love visual stimulation. So when you write it down, when you watch it, when you say it, when you hear it, all of those things just ingrain it into your head, okay? Um, how are we going to earn this? How do we earn this? There's only two ways to earn it. PRV and sales, I mean, in recruiting, sorry. PRV and sponsoring is what I meant to say. PRV and sponsoring. The irony is those are the only two things you need to do in your business anyway, right? So like Andrea mentioned earlier, when you put your passion behind the two things that you need to do, PRV and sponsoring, the likeliness of you earning the incentive is pretty high. Okay. Um, I think I want to interject, Kimberly, would you talk about servant leaders a little bit? Because I think at this point, it's very um, apropos to talk about this, because if you don't have a team, obviously you have to concentrate on the sponsoring part, right? But if you do have a team already, and you have one or two people under you, then servant leading is super important. So Kimberly, talk about that a little bit. Yeah, and I think also if you haven't sponsored anyone yet, before you sponsor, going into it, having that servant leadership mindset is going to do you so well in this incentive and even in your business. So if you don't know what servant leadership is, um, basically it's kind of removing yourself and what's in it for you is kind of the acronym that we use for our customers or, you know, other people, tiny, their interests, not yours. So the way that I view a lot of things like me promoting or, you know, me earning the incentive, it's not about that anymore. It's how can I help my team promote how can I help them earn the incentive? Because whenever I do that, it in turn helps me reach the goals that I have. So that's what servant leadership is, is how can I help others get what they want in life, in their business? Because at the end, it all, it's just like karma. What comes around goes around. If you help them, it's going to come back and help you 
get the things that you want. Yeah. And I think to add to that, like you were saying earlier, if you don't have anybody on your team yet, going into a conversation with somebody to sponsor them onto your team with that insight to say, you know what, do you love traveling? Is that something that's on your radar? Because I would love to help you earn that trip. Let's do this together. Let's plan this out together. So think about what's happening right now, right? Your leaders are here. We're being servant leaders to you guys. We want to help you guys get there. And part of that is because we, some of us have experienced what it's like to go on these trips. And by all the graces of God, we want you guys to experience that too, because it's insanely incredible, right? And so to be able to pass that on to you and kind of like pass the baton on and say, hey, I, matter of fact, I'd love to ride the boat with you. Let's go have some fun, right? That's what this is all about. It's to help each other, to lift each other so that we can um, earn it, right? Think about Sensei's values, implement them into your business. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So Robbie, do you want to share with us um, a little bit of some things that we can do to earn PRV, maybe do some sponsoring to maybe utilizing the special that's happening right now as well? Hey, so just to piggyback off of Kimberly, I didn't know that my leadership style was servant leadership. Um, I saw a book by another leader that they were, um, that they just bought and they were going to read it and do a training or whatever. And I got it and I'm like, I'm doing this already. So you may already be doing it with your customers. You may be doing it with your family and you don't know it. And you can just tap into that. Okay. So like Edie said, when I saw the Netherlands, I wanted to go and I wanted to go for one reason. I did not have a dream of going to the Netherlands. Sorry if that's your dream. It's lovely. I looked at videos and it looks like an amazing place to go to. And I was really excited to go until it got canceled. I wanted to bring my husband to show him that Sensi is not just a joke. It's not just having fun, that this is real, that this is real and this is what can really happen with it. So as soon as I heard about that trip, I was like, I'm gonna be on it. And like Edie said, I watched the video on my TV. I had it on my YouTube um, app on there, saved, and I watched it almost every day. And all I did was talk about it. I watched YouTube videos about Amsterdam and where we were going to go before then or whatever. So that's a good way to get yourself in that mindset. So about earning PRV, earn, I find that earning PRV is not hard when you get into it, when you're doing it. The problem is, is getting the people to sponsor. So what I came up with is that I'm using the PRV that I earn and my sales and try to sponsor them in a different way. So, and this may not work every time to have somebody consistently, you know, be active 12 months out of the year, which is fine. You know, our, the um, hobbyists and the kidnappers who just wanna get their own stuff or whatever, they mean, they mean a lot to my business as well. And they should to yours too. So I, during an incentive, all my parties are flipped. I'm flipping all my parties. I'm not counting on that as PRV for myself. I'm not counting that as my income. Whatever online parties I do, because I've only had one home party. So if home parties aren't your thing. You can do it. Believe me, you can do it. And my one home party was for myself. So I already spoke to one, two people who came to me about having a party also. And I told this one girl, I was like, um, she's a rep for origami hour or some one of those other companies and we're like really close we talk almost every day or whatever so she understands direct sales and i told her i was like listen i was like i have a plan for us <laughs> i just want to share it with you when i called her up on the phone and we talked about it well on facebook or whatever so i told her i was like i want to get you a shitload of stuff for free like i want to get you a bunch of stuff for free and we have this new incentive that if you join this month and you hit 500 in sales, you get the shooting star kit for free. And I sent her the picture before I even talked about this stuff. I said, we're gonna get you this for free on top of whatever you earn. So when I'm talking to her, she's like, um, she's like, you know, I really don't wanna run a business. 
and this and that. And I'm like, that's okay. I, I just want to get you the most that you can get. So my goal, my personal goal is to get her party at 1000 because then she's certified. I already have my sponsoring points. I don't have to worry about that. And that also adds to the overall points. I don't know if you guys know that. I know when I first, my first incentive, it was a little foggy that I thought we had to get the sponsoring points plus the 15,000 and all that. So that's how I'm going at it with this. The other part I'm doing is I'm looking at my team and I don't mean this in a negative way that's stagnant kind of, that is like, we have spoke about them growing their business. We have spoke about them growing the team. And now I kind of want to like put a little fire under them and see if they want to restart their business. Um, but I'm going to say something different, kind of like maybe reintroduce your business, um, reignite your business, something like that. So, and that's what I did with the Netherlands and like Edie, I didn't, I did not, um, promote during the Netherlands and I was a top 13 and I am bragging. I'm sorry, but I worked really hard on that, <laughs> like in the whole company. So does anybody have any questions about that? Well, first, I want to jump in. I think that um, if you go into the mindset, and a lot of people are going to be like, well, she didn't want her business and stuff. But if you go into the mindset that even if you get them signed up, okay, they've done their 500, when they get that feeling of achievement, they tend to want to pile onto that. Like they want to continue that feeling. That's a good feeling. That's a very, um, energizing feeling. So when you get somebody that is, Man, I don't want to do a business. I know that's not something that I want to do. And now all of a sudden you've helped them achieve two goals, shooting star and certified, right? They got a, a, a raise already. What do you mean? I got a raise. I'm not even doing this as a business. How do I get a raise when I'm not doing this as a business? That's exciting. That's energizing. And more times than not, they're going to want to go on that. They're going to want to propel on that energy. Some may not. Some may be like, okay, I got the free stuff. Boop, okay. Done. Right. But I think if we have that mindset and I'll be honest with you, I'm one of those people that wasn't doing this for a long time. And when I did home parties, I would flip, but I wasn't flipping my online parties. And I don't really know what was holding me up. But until I got that notion that, especially with the hostess exclusive kits that we have now, that you have the ability to do that on the fly every single time, it's a lost um, opportunity when you don't, right? Or even if you're doing your own parties and you end up having half price items or what I call an unlocked incentive kit or not incentive kit, a hostess kit, an unlocked kit where you can offer it to somebody who has been talking about joining and they haven't been able to afford it maybe. And this is an opportunity for them to jump in. You've got to use the tools that you have. And the first thing that Robbie said was, it's easy to have PRV if you're doing it right? So all of these things are super easy. They really are. You just got to do them. You just got to ask. You just have to ask to do the party or the, the collecting of orders, whatever you want to use for your term. I still use the word party. I know some people get turned off by that, but honestly, everybody knows what it is nowadays and it's, it's whatever. Um, but you got to put in the effort. It's not going to happen for you. So here's the equation, right? Thought plus action equals results. Think about, put your goal in place, focus on the ball, swing the bat. There's your action. Do the parties, do the sponsoring, ask the questions. And the results will come from those two things. If you don't do both, if you just think about it with no action, you won't get results. If you have action without thought behind it, it could potentially backfire on you and 
not give you the results that you want. They might have results, but not the results you want. Okay, so your thought, your goal, your plan, which is what we're doing tonight, plus the actions of putting that plan into place will give you the results that you want. And that's a seat on that boat. Okay, so. I just wanna add one more thing, Edie. I'm of sorry. course. So um, Amory and I have created this atmosphere in our group that is like a family. And that's something that I truly believe is what gets me any of my recruits. I never ask them, I'm not saying do that, don't do that, please. But people come to me and ask me, and I am gonna change that, I'm gonna do differently this time, and I'm gonna ask people, but I feel that it's because I share not only my life with Sensi, but also my group. And that's another big part of servant leadership. So add them to your group, create this, create this family like we've created and that the TPS is and just Sensi in general has created and um, make them want what you have. Mm. That's gonna help a lot. Yeah, no, I, I definitely agree with that. I mean, I think that's part of the, the desire for community, right? Um, and I, I will say that one of the things that I have realized through the COVID year um, is that people aren't necessarily looking for a job. They're looking for community. They're looking for something fun to do. And so the aspect of our, especially for me, the aspect of my recruiting has changed because I'm not constantly saying, well, you can make this much money. You can do this. You can do that. You can have this. You can have that. It's more finding out what they're wanting and inviting them into that scenario within our community. And right now, because fun is the ultimate goal for most people out in the universe right now, is what better way to have fun but than to be on a cruise boat? I mean, that's the ultimate fun, right? So, I mean, I think we're just, it's a simple equation. Put the thoughts and the goals together, put those thoughts and goals and planning in action, and you will get on the boat, okay? Um, is there anybody else here that would love to share um, ways that we can collect PRV and sponsoring? Yes, Brianna, go ahead. So um, kind of just kind of to piggyback off what's already been said about, especially about the servant leadership, I'm kind of like Robbie. I didn't even realize that was what I was already doing um, until Kimberly was talking about it just now. But one of the first things I did when everything was posted was I wrote down how to earn all of the points in my, uh, my SFR notebook, which I've been putting everything in because I'm very visual. And before I ever even put out, put down my goals and what I am step-by-step of what I need to do to earn my, of earn the incentive, I messaged everybody on my team and was like, I'd like to sit down with you in person or via Facebook chat or however, and let's break down how you can earn this because you can. And that was one of the first things I did. But also I, after I did all of that and I met with several of the people on my team, I broke down um, what I needed to do, obviously. And then I started thinking about ways that I could do differently um, to help myself earn it, but also help myself kind of grow and do some different things that I haven't done yet. And I, I posted earlier in your group about the um, hostess baggies that I made because my biggest problem right now has been my Facebook parties haven't been doing very well. I'm having a hard time getting interaction in them. And I'm really having a hard time getting in-person parties or like couch parties even. Um, so I made those and I shared them with some of my really good customers and said, if you can book an in-person party or a pouch party with me, you get one of these baggies, regardless of whether your party gets rewards or not. Um, and I'd love to get you set up for that. And I post, I shared that maybe an hour ago and I've already got five out of the eight of them claimed with parties booked for this month. So trying new things really can help jump your business in a way that's really important. And then that opens up the opportunity to flip all of those parties like Robbie was talking about, get new recruits. I don't, 
it depends for me. I depends on, I'll always flip the party for a kit, but I won't always flip the PRV for me. It depends because my income right now is very dependent on my parties are the majority of my PRV for the month until I can get kind of to where that's not so much the, the case. If I have a hostess who's rocking it, who's getting a ton of orders, who's putting in all that effort, I'll absolutely flip that PRV to them um, because they deserve it. They got the all the PRV. Um, Jackie, I can tag you in that post that I posted on Edie's page. Um, it's got a list of everything I put or I'll just message you, whichever. But um, I, so it's very dependent for me on like if the person's going to put in a ton of effort and I know that they're going to try really hard and they're really into it, then I'll absolutely flip that PRV to them because that's super beneficial to me. But if I flip the PRV to them and then they're not super into it for me, it's a big loss because I have a hard time making that PRV up in a lot of ways, but it's totally up to however you guys want to do it. Um, if you feel like flipping it, flip it. If you don't, don't. I always, though, try to get someone to claim the kit, regardless of whether I'm going to flip the party or not. Yes, I can, Terry. Nice, nice. Um, and to, to kind of piggyback on that, um, if you don't flip a party, and I've, I've been known not to flip the actual party, the PRV to the party, my thing with them is always all of these people that just purchased from this party are now your customers. So all of the residual purchases that they're going to make when they run out are going to come to you automatically. So you instantly have a customer base. And so exactly. that's a very good way to be able to, um, you know, under, have them understand that their business is going to start from this day out, even if you don't flip the party. Again, that is your call. That's something that yeah, you I have. Um, the only other thing I'd like to add is I have always flipped my pouch parties. If I get someone who does a pouch party, I the way I flip it is I tell them, you know, if they're like, oh, I don't know if I can sell. I'm like, you just took a pouch party from me for a week and you got all those orders. I didn't do anything. So like, I know you can sell because you just did it. And then I go, and I want you to get the credit for all the work you just did. So I'm going to flip you this PRV. So you'll already have a paycheck. Yeah. So for me, it's always super beneficial to flip the pouch parties because I know that they can put in the effort and I know that they can do it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. They've already, it's a given they've already, they've been the, the consultant already. Yeah. Awesome. Um, anybody else want to share about um, potential ways to do PRV or sponsoring that will help to the point? So let me explain um, what we're going to talk about after this. Okay. I want to make sure that we understand some different ways to be able to get PRV to sponsor new people, but we're also going to learn how to track for the incentive. So Andrea is going to share some tracking with us. We're going to learn about the points. We're going to learn what it's going to take from certified consultant to director to be able to earn a spot on the boat. Okay. So we will discuss that. I don't want you guys to go away thinking that we're not going to discuss that. Um, but it's obvious that the, the root or the core of, of earning the trip are the two things, PRV and sponsoring. So I just want to make sure that we're all um, feeling good about leaving tonight, knowing different ways that we can earn those points through those two processes that we do already in our business. So does anybody else want to share about PRV or sponsoring? You can just unmute yourself if you'd like. Haley, yeah. So this is more based off of like my customer base with what I've done. Um, they like the mystery boxes. Not so much the whiff boxes. I haven't gotten them to do that yet. But um, when I first joined, like my first few months, because this was lot, just last year, um, I did a few mystery boxes and I could sell them out every time. And I'm like, this is great. And I took a break from it because my last one I did wasn't as big. So I've stepped back from that for a minute, but I'm re-getting into it because I had a few people going, hey, when are we doing that again? So because I like to introduce them to new things that maybe I kind of see what they buy and then introduce them to some things that they haven't tried yet or <laughs> out of my zone or out of their zone. So just introducing them to new things with a mystery box is what I've done to help 
my PRV. And so is a mystery box, the same thing as a whiff box, just not a subscription. So it's like a box that you buy a one-time thing. Um, with how I've done it, it's different products. So for December, just with all the Christmas shopping and stuff, I did like a R and R box, um, where okay. I had like a okay. soak and a scrub in it. So they so were themed. Like relaxation. Yeah. So I do more of a themed ones or some, like, cause I try to do more of a theme than just random, Sure. but I try to include just a bunch of different things to get them trying different things. Awesome. So that's a great way to earn PRV. Absolutely. Yeah, I love that idea. Thank you for sharing that. Um, I know that our club and our whiff box is a great way to earn PRV. If you guys are not taking advantage of club, you're losing an opportunity because, for instance, Marissa and I bank on at least 550 PRV every month for club. And we don't have to do much, right? We're not placing orders. We're just following up. We're just making sure that they've got things or switched things or made sure that they're doing, the, you know, getting the new bricks that are out or whatever. We're just doing the normal customer service without all the legwork. Club is an amazing way to gain PRV. And think about this. You get all of these club members now, right? And you're earning this incentive. These club members are going to help you earn the next incentive because they're already going to be in the system. It's money in the bank, right? It's just sitting there waiting to earn stuff for you. So make sure you're utilizing the club, okay? Make sure you're doing that as well. Um, the, the mystery box is a great idea. Anybody else want to share something that they're doing or that would be a good idea to, to try something new? PRV or sponsoring. Nikki, you are muted. Unmute. I made it. I don't know how I made it in. My <laughs> phone's been acting up. But um, I do the mystery boxes as well, but I also have a guarantee of 330 club every month. Nice. I have nine people in my club. See? That's subscribe. And it's growing. I have more people going. I'm telling so, you, that's a good way to grow your business. Club is a super way to focus on your business to get that residual income. And if you don't know what residual income is, residual means over and over and over and over again without much effort. It's just income that just keeps coming in because of one effort that you put at the beginning. Anybody else? Nope, oh, there you are. I think we lost her. Anybody else want to share before we get into the actual tracking? Okay. All right. Um, so what do we do now? We're selling, we're sponsoring, we're racking up these points. We don't know where we stand. We don't know if we earned it. We don't know anything. So we're going to track. And the best way to track is visually. And Andrea is going to share with us some different ways to track the incentive. And we're going to learn about the point structure. So before we continue, I want you all to understand that all of this information is available at your fingertips in the incentive tab of the workstation. It's tracking it for you. There are tracking papers. There are um, the levels to tell you what your points look like, right? So there's that first level visual that you can get by going to the incentive tab of the workstation, okay? So Andrea, if you wanna take over. Okay, first thing I'm gonna say is, is that if I start to lag really bad, I need Edie or somebody to go like this because I've got like five people in my house using my Wi-Fi. okay? So if I start to become inaudible, like you can't understand what I'm saying, please let me know. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and I'm gonna go here. Nope, hold on, share this one. Okay, so 
I want you to take a look at this picture. Um, I, I think if I do this, you can see it. Yeah. So this picture is really important to me. It has been important to me for four years because in Kansas City of 2017, I was a star consultant and I was sitting with these two crazy chicks named Francis and um, Jolene. And they were on Kimberly's team. And um, five minutes after this picture was taken, they announced the 2018 incentive trip, which was the Mediterranean cruise. And I lost myself. Like I was crying, I was bawling. And the two of them are looking at me like, what the hell is wrong with you? And I was just crying. And they said, why are you crying? And I said, I'm going on that cruise. And they were like, oh yeah, oh honey, it's okay. We know you feel strongly about it. And it's like, no, you don't understand. I feel like somebody just gave me a gift because I knew in my head that I was gonna use every avenue possible, every avenue that Sensi gave me in order to go on that trip. So this is a huge picture for me. I look at it all the time and they are still two of my very best friends. I have vacationed with them. We talk every day, whatever. Anyway, if you go to the um, incentive tab on your workstation, you will basically see this. It's very bright here. <laughs> it breaks it down to every point of PRV that you get, you get one point towards the incentive. You also get PRV consistency. You get personal promotion. So in other words, if you go from lead to star consultant, you get 2000 points, yay. Um, activity, activity points. So if you get paid at a certain title, even if you hit a title and then kind of don't get paid at that title, look at the activity bonus. You'll get paid at, you'll get the points for what you get paid at, which is really exciting because sometimes for star directors, it's really difficult to get all the, hit all the parameters to be paid at star director. But you know what? If I hit director points, I'm still getting that thousand points a month, which is really exciting. Okay. You get 250 points for each front line that you've promote that you've recruited in the past that hits certified during the incentive period, which is really cool because even if somebody like joined a year and a half ago and they've just sat there doing nothing and then they've reinstated and they bought a whiff box and then they went inactive and then they reinstated again, blah, blah, blah. You get 200 points, 250 points for them to go certified, which is really exciting. Okay, because I've got a few of those. <laughs> and then you get a thousand points for each frontline consultant that you sponsor during the incentive period that promotes to certified, which is a thousand, basically a thousand in sales, which uh, boom. That I'm like, all you have to do is get somebody to go certified. Like all you have to do. I'm not trying to minimalize, please. I know that being a sensing consultant is very pleasurable and very easy, but at the same time, very hard. So I'm not trying to minimize any of this effort. But then you also get a thousand points for each frontline consultant that promotes to, so that, that promotes up. So really so many different ways to earn points. This is a very similar point structure to the incentive period when I earned the Mediterranean cruise. So that's, this is why I'm so passionate about this. I'm so, I'm so excited about this, it's ridiculous. Okay, so I scoured the internet. <laughs> I scoured all the Facebook groups on Facebook. I, I mean, all the Sensi groups on Facebook. And I found about four or five different trackers. So I'm gonna show you them from what I think you're gonna love, to what I think is gonna be the most useful to the one that I think that you're gonna love the most, okay? So this one was the most dry. Now, if you are like, if you're a Virgo like me, okay, you like things cut and dry, black and white, you like that you want to know the thing, I need to know the thing, that I need to do the thing to achieve the thing. That's the way I am, whatever. That's what this is. This is very bare bones. I'm going to post all of these in TPS as soon as we're done here, okay? I just didn't get a chance to do it before we started. This is basically what you just saw over here, but just a little bit more laid out, a little bit more linear, okay? And by the way, level one, level two, level three is right there. That's really important for you to look at, okay? And then we talk about boxes that you can actually take a pen and fill in. So if you hit 
the incentive from last season, but you only got level one, you can go ahead and put 500 points in there from the summer incentive. You can go ahead and put something in there already, which is really nice. Like, even though you quote unquote only hit level one, you're already a couple of steps ahead from a lot of other people, which is really nice. And then at every day, you can look at this piece of paper and you can say, okay, did I hit any of these levels? Maybe not every day. If you didn't have an active sensi day, maybe you, every two or three days, whatever it is. But keep this on your desk, by the way. I have this on my desk now. I've had it here since August 1st and I'm looking through all these trackers. I have all these printed out and I have started to fill all of these out, okay? This is the one that's on your workstation right now. If you go to the incentive tab, it says download printable tracker. This is the one that you see there, okay? Now this one, every circle inside that rope is a thousand points. And then every um, notch of sponsoring points are the triangles or the diamonds sort of halfway, three quarters of the way down on the page. I love Sensi and I love all of their um, assistance and their support. This one is going to not be my main focus because there's not going to be a lot of activity in between thousands of dollars that I've that I sell. Okay. But I am going to show you this one that our very dear friend Tiffany Peak, who actually is one of the TPS leaders. Okay. She made this one. I had no idea that she made it. I printed it out as soon as she posted it. I, I love this incentive tracker. Um, she used the same graphics as here, but just rearranged them a little bit. Um, and again, you can actually write on this one. There's places for you to write and scribble and you can put, oh, gosh darn it, I didn't get this one. Oh, oh I need to do a little bit extra in this month and that month and this and that and blah, blah, blah. There's room for you to mark this up and make it look like a big pile of poo, but you know exactly what's going on. I earned that Mediterranean cruise by tracking every single day. I used to look at these pieces of paper every single day. I wore out the paper clip. <laughs> I had this in, and then once I wore out the paper clip, I had a pen attached over here and I was using the same pen to make sure that the ink was the same because I'm insane like that a little bit. But I honestly believe that if you want something to happen, you have to visualize it. You can't, it will not happen unless you can actually see it happening. And now I'm going to get a little hokey for a second. If you want magic to happen, magic is basically just a manifestation of energy into physicalness. Okay. So magic actually happens every time you write something down. Every time you have a thought process, it's an energy occurrence. It happens inside your brain. It's not an actual physical thing that happens, but there's an electronic current that goes from your brain through your neurons, through your shoulder, through your arm and through your pen and then down onto paper. And that actually makes a physical thing is now manifested from a thought process. That's the way I think because I'm insane, okay? This is actually my favorite tracker. I don't know who made it. I found it in one of the groups. I like it because the points are by 500. And so if you have 500, like if you got 500 points from the last incentive that carried over to this one, you've already got that first bar on the left side. <laughs> like, okay, yay, I can just fill that in. And I go, I got that one filled out. You know what I mean? And then if you have the summer incentive points, you can put 500 right there in the middle. Like there are already things that you can fill. I know it looks real simple, but it's also the picture of a ship which is kind of titillating in a way, like I'm gonna be on a cruise kind of a thing. I really kind of like that, you know? And then there's this one. I don't know who made this one. This one is um, not the way my brain works, but I wanted to put it here because some of you might really like this. You might want to mark it up or whatever. And then I also just wanted to quickly show you this picture because this picture was taken on the second to last night of the Mediterranean cruise with Robbie Vitale and Mark Alvarez. And it's one of my, it's the, the other one of my favorite pictures because the three of us were just, 
so thrilled to be on that trip together. And it wasn't just that we were there, it was that we were there together, experiencing it together. And it was just very, very important. So I hope that some of you have that kind of experience um, when you do earn <laughs> the cruise. I'm gonna go ahead and stop my sharing. And there. Okay. Andrea, that was awesome. So first of all, the ship one, I think is going to be mine. And I think I am with you on the fact that it's kind of like this tease that you want to be on the ship. So let's see the ship every single time we go track. Um, I will admit that when it was go time for the Netherlands, I had three trackers that I was using just so that I could see myself filling in stuff. Like I would go get a new tracker just so that I could fill it all in and be like, oh, I'm almost there. So I'm serious that those things are very effective, <laughs> right? Um, I wanna share along with what Andrea was saying, incentive trips with Sensi, are something that you cannot experience anywhere else. I've made the money to go on trips with Sensi. And I mean to go on trips that weren't created or planned by Sensi. They will never be the same as Eldon and his team planning the experience that we have, because that's his thing, is that he wants the experience to be something that is so memorable that it will etch itself in your brain. And the excursions that they pick and the time that they spend prior to us going on these trips to make sure that every second is based on an experience that you will keep forever. And so I'm not saying this just to say it, I'm saying it out of experience of my own and knowing that some of these trips that I've been on have literally, cliche or not, changed my life. I went to Greece. That was a trip of a lifetime. It was top 100. It was a trip that I will never forget because it was probably one of the bigger trips that I had ever taken in my life. And the things that we did on that trip were not things that I would have even thought of paying for if I had gone on my own. Um, I've been to South Africa with Sensi in the top 100. And I'm telling you, I will never go to a zoo ever again, things that change your life, right? Um, it was an absolutely incredible experience that I get to relive on Facebook every time it comes back up, <laughs> which I love. I made the best friends that are still friends today. We went to New Zealand, had some amazing experiences there. It's a place that I would probably go and live. I never thought I would ever go to New Zealand. Wasn't even on my radar. Wasn't even something that I, I always thought I wanted to go to Australia. But I will probably never go to Australia again. I will probably go to New Zealand again if I can. So I'm telling you guys that these experiences are worth the effort. They're worth the time, the excitement, the things that you can do for yourself. But what I want to add on top of this, and I'm going to share a story if I can, a very quick one. My very first incentive I earned was to Punta Cana. And they had split that trip into two separate weeks. So there was a group that went week one, and there was a group that went week two. My husband has always been supportive, meaning Edie, do what you want. And I love you go be you fly my little butterfly do you i'm not going to help you but you go do you so the support was there 
kind of backhanded support. Um, he did quite get it. He didn't quite believe that what I was doing was worth anything. Um, he didn't quite understand what it could potentially lead to. And so when I earned the trip to Punta Cana, he was like, oh, that's great. Yeah, I don't think I'm going. My husband, you have to understand, is also, he owns his own logging business. He is married to his business. And to leave didn't even seem like an option for him. So for months before this trip, it was like pulling teeth to try and get him to go on this trip. And he knew, I knew he was going. He just hadn't like understood that yet. Day one, we're in Punta Cana. They had reserved a night for us to go out to eat. And as we're waiting for the reservation to be opened up for us to go get seated, we're sitting outside on this rock wall all by ourselves. And that's, that's another Ben thing. I, I'm the social person. I'll go and hang out with you. Ben just likes to sit back and watch. And we were sitting on the wall. And out of nowhere, he looked at me and he said, huh, I get it. I said, what do you mean? What do you get? He goes, we all as individuals want to be part of something big. Edie, this is pretty effing big. I'm like, dude, good morning. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Like I knew that, but he hadn't seen that yet. He hadn't felt it. He hadn't experienced it. He hadn't witnessed it. And by having him on that trip, he saw what I had seen. And so I think that just, and, and can I just tell you now, we didn't get to go to the Netherlands last year. And every month he's like, um, where's the next trip? Where are we going? What are you earning? When, when are we leaving? Like, and when I told him it was the Alaskan cruise, he was like, are you kidding me? Like that's been on my bucket list forever. I'm like, I know, dude, you're going to have to like suck it up, do the dishes, feed yourself. <laughs> I'm on a mission. <laughs> um, you know, so I just think that these types of things are also so beneficial for our families, not just ourselves. I mean, we can be selfish about it. That's great. But at the same token, it's just something that, um, you know, our families get to witness us be successful. And, and if you have kids, it's even better, right? Because they're witnessing you working hard and achieving something and actually being rewarded for it. That's huge. You know, um, I'm reading Brianna's comment. Yeah. I mean, it, honestly, I think that our significant others are the hardest to convince sometimes, and they're the ones that are not seeing a lot of you. If you're working hard and you're putting a lot of hours in, they're the ones that are saying, okay, well, uh, what are you doing? Like, what are you getting out of this? You're putting in so much work and I don't see anything coming out of it until you're sitting on the boat cruising along the Alaskan glaciers and watching them fall into the lake and hoping that you don't like topple over because of the waves that it created and all that good stuff. Right. So, I mean, it's, it's beneficial for a lot of reasons. And you also heard Robbie say something about wanting to bring his husband to the Netherlands so that he could experience what the Sensi trips were like, because guys, you just, you need to go, <laughs> you need to go, you need to experience this. And, and we were talking about it as leaders earlier that the biggest thing for me, yes, I want to go on the trips. Don't get me wrong. Listen, we're being real there but I have been on trips and I know what they feel like. And I want every single one of you to experience what I've experienced. Like I legitimately, truly from the core want you to experience that because it's the most wonderful thing to be spoiled and not to have to pay for anything. Like it's an insane feeling. You feel like princesses and Kings and just being catered to it's ridiculous. <laughs> like it's, it's, you can't understand until you've gone. And so I want all of you to experience that. I want you all to feel that I want you to be able to share that with your own families. 
Hey, Edie, can I say something real quick? Yeah. So I just want to shout out Haley, who just talked a minute ago. She took the um, words that were being said by other people about find, like what you said about finding someone's reason to be a part of this team. And she just implemented it and messaged me and said that she had a friend who hasn't been buying a lot right now because her daughter broke her arm and she's had to miss a lot of work because her daughter broke her arm. And she just messaged her about how about we do a party and if it does well enough, we can flip it to have you join and you can make some extra money without having to worry about leaving your daughter. And she got an absolutely yes, I want to do that and let's make it happen. So I just wanted to shout her out because she's already taking what we just talked about and implementing it. That's fantastic. And can I just share something? You know, so many of us get on this, this track of, oh, I'm being annoying and I'm, I'm being too pushy or, but I'm going to tell you something that it's going to hit hard when I say this, but this is how I feel. You are literally being super selfish. If you are not offering this opportunity to people, you do not have a clue how it could benefit them. You have no idea what's happening behind closed doors with them. This could be the biggest blessing on their plate that has ever been shown up, that has ever shown up for them. And if you don't, if you're not the one that offers it to them, maybe somebody else will and you'll lose the opportunity yourself. So please don't be hung up on, I'm bugging them. I'm, I'm pushing them. Don't push, just give them the opportunity, share it with them and say, look, this could be a blessing for you. I don't know how, but let's figure it out together. Right. And Kimberly, yes. Miss souvenir taker Homer person. Like you can't send Kimberly on incentive trips because she always comes home with a baby. <laughs> oh, what a blessing. See, what a blessing. <laughs> oh, so what do you think guys? Are we all going on the boat together? Yes, 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 yes. Let's get your plans together. Guys, listen, if you have any questions, reach out to your upline. Granted, I am your up upline, but if you can't get a hold of your upline, I'm there too. Okay. Um, let's plan. Let's get you're choosing Australia. That's gonna be a good one too. Yeah. I actually, we, I Jerry wants a baby. I guess Colossus is perfect place. <laughs> oh, I love it. Keep trying. <laughs> um, I what is it? The fjords? The Austria? Which which is the other one? The beauty one. Yeah. <laughs> Beachy one. <laughs> I think that it's Alaska, and then there's the Australia Gold Coast one, and then I think there's one for the islands in the South Pacific. Oh, okay, right. The beachy one. Yeah, that's what she's saying. Yeah. Okay. Um, regardless, I don't care what boat you get on. Hopefully you could get on the river boat because that means you're in the top 20, 75. That'd be even, I, I'm really torn, really torn. I want to try for the 75. I want to go back to the Netherlands. What's that Robbie? Okay, one thing. So Andrea is talking about, first of all, Andrea lives like 10 blocks from me. Yeah. We followed each other for years and like, she's my biggest supporter. She, texted me saying we're going on that boat and I'm like I'm not going on the boat I just want to get reunion because it looks so fun but I met Mark Alvarez oh. and if you know Mark Alvarez he is the sweetest thing that ever walked on this earth and I am a nasty sometimes so we complement each other very well total opposite so not only have I met like one of my best friends in the world I have met someone who I also share a room with when I go on these trips because some of them can be expensive. Some of them can be expensive, like leadership and some other ones that we pay for ourselves. Um, so keep that in your head also. You're going to meet some amazing people that may not even be part of this, this mm -hmm. organization. Like Kimberly, I, I kind of fangirl sometimes. And when I joined, 
Andrea was perfect because she was like, do your thing. If you need me, I'm here. And that's exactly what I needed. But I watched Kimberly. And it wasn't until I think maybe two months in that I even knew she was part of TPS. So when I met her on the ship, I was like, oh. <laughs> so you're going to meet the people who you see and look up to and all these things is going to be incredible. Incredible. You're going to meet everybody. <laughs> There's all spectrums, right? Yeah. My best friends, um, I met on incentive trips. Uh, Kelly Rasha, I met in Greece and uh, Nick and Anna and Rachel were all in Africa. Um, you know, Becca Levi was in Punta Cana. So, I mean, there's just, it's, yeah, there's just a lot that comes with, there's a lot of benefits that come from earning a trip and it's not just the trip. So, um, and then one of the things that I, we didn't mention was that, um, when you take these trips, when you're advertising and not advertising, when you're sharing on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube about your trip, you're enticing people to want to join you. So it's a great marketing tool. Just saying. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are 10 minutes over. Um, anybody have any questions at all? I want to make sure that you understand if you go to the incentive tracker or the incentive tab on the workstation, you will also see breakdowns per title, how you can potentially earn the trip through points. Okay. But like Kimberly said at the beginning, like Andrea said, like Robbie said, like we've all said, if you're doing the things that are part of your business anyway, and you're helping others do the same thing, you're more than likely going to earn the trip right? And thought, planning, goals, plus the action of putting those in